Applied GCSE, <laughs> Unit 1, uh, Chemical Tests. Now, you've all watched forensic science programmes on the TV, whether it's CSI or whether it's Prime Suspect, and they want to know what poisons there are, and you'll see them mixing different chemicals together. The reason why they do this is because different chemicals, when they're mixed, some of them, in actual fact, give very bright, very clear results. And they only do that in certain combinations. So what I have here is, I have a chemical copper sulfate. And I want to show you what happens when I add oh, the chemical sodium hydroxide to copper chloride. So what I do is, I put a very small amount. The nice thing about these experiments is, you only need very, very small amounts. So if you're a forensic scientist and you have a small amount of evidence, you don't use it all on some complicated chemical test. What you have now is sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide for your risk assessment is corrosive. So what happens when we add sodium hydroxide to copper chloride? If you look there, you have a lovely dark blue colour. And now, I want to show you what happens when you add sodium hydroxide to copper sulphate. Now, copper sulphate, you notice, you still have copper. So when you take some sodium hydroxide and you add it to copper sulphate, you look there, you have that same colour. The same colour. So, the copper iron is reacting with the sodium hydroxide and you're getting a colour change. When you look closely at this, when you do this experiment, you will see that it looks like a fine powder. That fine powder is called a precipitate. So when Copper ions react with sodium hydroxide, you get a blue precipitate. You see it as a solid. Now the next experiment that I'd like to do is taking a clean test tube and instead of using sodium hydroxide and instead using copper sulfate, what we're going to do now is we're going to see what happens when we put copper chloride and we mix it again, a small amount, and we mix it with this chemical, silver nitrate. Silver nitrate, as you can see here, is an irritant. So be aware of that when you're writing out your risk assessments. We take a small amount of silver nitrate, and we put it in here, and immediately, look at the difference in colour here, and again, if you swirl that around, you will see a fine powder. So, copper chloride, and it's the chloride this time, will react with silver nitrate. Stop it. 